to this edition of Micro Safaris. We're getting up close with Paramecium. Normally, when you see Paramecium under the microscope, you see something like this. A mass of cells all squirming around, and you never see much detail. If you get lucky, sometimes you get a view like this, where there are not quite so many, but they're still moving fairly rapidly, and you don't get, again, much detail. We're going to pop some paramecium into something called methyl cellulose, which is going to slow them down and allow us to get really up close and personal in this clip. And here you see a single paramecium in this methyl cellulose, which is kind of gelatinous, so it's harder for it to swim, so it slows down. And as you look closely, you can make out some of the detail inside the cell, even at this medium power magnification. You can see cilium beating on the edges, you can see cytoplasm streaming inside, so already a much better view. It's slow enough I can actually get out and measure it. There we see it's about a fifth of a millimeter in length, so very, very small. I can even extend my measurement there. And now we can start to actually zoom in and look even more closely. And as you um, look closely, you can see fragments of things floating around inside the cell, mostly undigested food. You see these vacuoles up in the front end here. Some are food vacuoles, others are water vacuoles, which squeeze and let water out. We're going to look at more detail at all of these here in just a moment. Here you can get a chance to see the food vacuole forming. If you look right in the center there, that large sphere is a food vacuole at the end of the gullet where you'll notice some particles will be swept down from the top there and into this forming food vacuole. You can see a few particles of food in there right now and then eventually it will pinch off when it gets full mostly with water. Most of that water will then leave the food vacuole and it will then be swept around and it floats within the cell and over time that food vacuole will get smaller eventually the food getting digested and some of those black particles you see elsewhere in the cell are what uh, is left of that those will then eventually be put out of the cell with exocytosis there you see the food vacuole separating and moving down very very cool very infrequently do you get to see that another issue you deal with as a paramecium is water balance in this case you're going to drown if you can't pump water out so you notice in the middle and then to the left there are vacuoles that occasionally squeeze and they're pumping excess water out to keep the cell from drowning because osmosis is always bringing new water into the cell so here on this micro safari you've had a chance to see some detail inside the cell that you don't normally get to see when you are observing this massive cluster of stuff i hope this helps when you start to see things in um in a wider view and you don't necessarily know what's going on you now know what to look for thanks for being part of this and feel free to check me out on twitter or at my webpage bluelionphotos.com and many thanks to the good folks at exolabs for their awesome camera